Folks, it's when God gives you revelation, he reveals his word to you, it's not easy to live. It's, it, it's, it's hard. Amen? But it takes a daily relationship with Christ, as we talked about before. Hiding yourself away and staying in his presence and staying in his word. Amen? As your Holy Ghost, as one preacher said before, or one man of God said, I've heard say, my Holy Ghost leaks. You've got to die daily. That's the Apostle Paul said, I die daily. It's a daily walk with Christ the Word. Amen? Stay with it. But you, but you sheep, you're not even dying daily. You, you, are, you are a part of your system. You've made it your idol. You've made it what, what you, you've compromised and stuck with that and not staying with Christ the Word. Now, my sheep wander through all the mountains and upon every high hill, hill Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the earth, upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. But I am. <clears throat> I am trying to reach as many of God's sheep before he comes to prepare a people for his second coming. A ministry calling you back to the word. Flee the church, the system. Run to Christ the word. And I'm going to show you through this message the direction where God's taking his body going forward. What's already been taking place already amongst many, and don't, don't take me wrong, there are, there, there are pastors out there who are staying with this complete word. And I'm going to tell you something. And if they are, they ain't no mega church. They, have, they, are, they are small little congregational sized churches because the, the variety elect is a small group. To stay with this complete word is a special, consecrated people. And there are shepherds out there that are staying with the complete word of God. Amen? Small groups. Now, <clears throat> Jeremiah 9, 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. O oh Lord, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. He said, I will judge, I will punish the, the uncircumcised with the circumcised. And he ties Israel. We are spiritual Israel. Father, we are the, Abraham is the father of the faith. By, by, by us becoming in Christ, it makes us a part of the royal seed of Abraham. So we are spiritual Israel. God, has turned to, to, God turned to us at Christ. After Christ came and, and rose, the gospel turned to the Gentiles, which is us. Amen? And God's saying, it's, it's the uncircumcised in heart. Uncircumcised in heart. Now, the prophecy the Lord gave me yesterday. <clears throat> Folks, I'm not, my life is, I'm not, the way I have felt the last 24 hours, I'm not prone to this every day of my life. But as God deals with me, and he speaks to me, and he stirs my heart, I, I, I battle for days. I guarantee after I put this message out, I will be in, I'll be in battling for days after this. But if I don't cry out and speak the word, the rocks will cry out. 
Woe unto me if I don't. I have a, I have a responsibility. The dispensation of the gospel of Jesus Christ has been given unto me. To my generation and my time. To bring his word to his people. Amen. And may this ministry continue to be led of God to wherever it's meant to, to be. Whatever God, a lot of people have found this channel. God just supernaturally led them to it. May that continue to take place. May it, may it continue to reach his elect. <clears throat> is my prayer. And if there are pastors out there, if God's dealing with you, repent. Run from your system and your church and run to Christ the word. If you, if, you go, if you lose your money, your position, your power, your popularity, all this stuff you're holding on to, so be it. What did the Apostle Paul do? He was a Pharisee of Pharisees, highly educated, a great leader of his time. But he said, I count it all dung to know Christ and him crucified. He died to his religion, his religiosity, his reasoning, all of his things he was taught that were wrong, and he took up Christ the Word. Amen. Amen. But some of you all, you sell out. And you sheep are selling out right there with them. I see it in your eyes when I'm around you. I can discern your spirit. Don't think I don't, folks. I can, God shows me things about you all. When I get around you, I told you there's a gift in my life. I don't talk about it. But it's there for a reason. But God's also given me such an anointing and an ability to, to be loving and pastoral with people. And, and you don't even, it's because it's, it's, it's many gifts that God's put in my life. And we will be pastoral with people through the Bible study group. But we also will be looking for God's anointing and power to move in mighty ways. May God lead to th those who, who want to be a part of this and what God is doing 2021 and where we are at. Now here's, the, here's what God the Lord gave me yesterday as I was sitting here. It was very short. It, it, I wrote it down. And I've never felt it like this till yesterday. When I read the scripture in Jeremiah that I just read a minute ago, that says, this is where the inspiration from this pro the inspiration of this prophecy came from the word of, came from scripture. Where it says here, for the pastors have become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper and their flocks shall be scattered. This is the prophecy. The church will be scattered. The pastors are failing to feed the flock. It will be more of small groups meeting as the first church did. This is what's going forward. This is, what, this is where God is moving going forward. The, the days of the big church, the days of the mega church, it, they, they, they will continue to go forward. They will continue to bring their false doctrine. And they'll continue because Satan's got, it's part of Satan's agenda. But God's gonna, God is scattering the sheep out. God is calling his true elect out of it. God will work mighty amongst those small groups as the book of Acts as he did. This is where God, this is in bold print, the church is dead. It is, God is done with her. That is thus saith the Lord. The church, the church, he's done. He's done. God is calling his sheep out of it. It's, 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 God is reaching the individuals as this ministry has been doing for the past year. And a lot of people wrestle with it. What's he, what is he telling Charles to leave our church? Amen, I'm telling you, leave your church. If your church isn't preaching the complete gospel of Jesus Christ, you flee it. You run for your life. You flee that system, folks, because God is done with her. She's dead. Amen. He's done. That's scripture. And I'm going to give you scripture to back it up. It's done. The church is dead. The church is dead. This church in my town is dead. And many of these other churches that I've walked in in Eaton, Ohio, and all these other cities around me, it's dead. God is calling his bride out of that church unto Christ the Word. Amen. And the work will be amongst small groups as we are kicking off this Bible study group. 
It's, I'm starting at April 12th because the number 12 is 12 disciples. I don't expect it to be a, a big group. I'm not looking for that. God will lead his little elect, his sheep. He will scatter from the dead church. Amen? Because it's dead. It's, Christ has been put out. It's done. It's finished. It, I don't even, I, I, I'm, it's finished. It's done. God is moving with his elect into the small group, just like the first church. Amen? You pastors, you wouldn't repent. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't listen to the warning of God. God is done with you. He's done with your church. And he's with his elect. Those people that are following Christ and staying with the complete word of God. Getting her ready for a rapture. As her life, her testimony, and the message she preaches is judging you and judging the eternal lost. Now, you want scripture on this? Here we go. This church, we are, we are in the last church age. Wake up. If God has so graciously called you out and you're hearing his voice, <laughs> you are so blessed because I see something that you don't see. He's done with you, church. He's done. It's over. The individuals right now, he's, work, he's working with the individual here individual there because you pastors have failed to lead God's people. You're more you were more emphasized on your on your bank account and your false doctrine and your agenda and your how many volunteers and becoming like the world because you are part of the one world system. You are the mark of the beast. You are gonna you will be a part of that final tribulational push. The persecution that's going to be coming upon the little elect group. I got some things to read about that in a minute too. Now, Revelation 3.14, And unto the angel of the Lord, and unto the angel, I'm sorry, of the church, of the Lady of Sins, write, We live in, we are in seven churches. I preached these things before, folks. A lot of you are familiar with what I'm getting ready to say. But we are in the last church age. And he's done. This is the bride age. This is the rapture time. The eagle age where we're at. Now, these things, these things say at the amen, the faithful and true witness, and the people that God has led to me. A lot of the people that God, that I'm ministering to are, are the people that were kind of outcasts anyways. The rebels. The, the, the people that were looked at in society, looked down upon. The out, like I said, the out, the outcasts, the drunks, the the pro, the, the, the ill-famed women, the, the all the other people, all the the the, the people with the people with all kinds of problems, are seem to be the ones that are feeding on this ministry, and God is using, because you are God's elect. Amen. You are God's elect. People with a past and a story, people that have been broken, but just want to follow Christ the Word. And hearing and recognizing the voice for their hour and what God's doing. That's what, this, that's, that's what I was sent to. Praise God. I love you all. Amen. Now, the beginning of the creation of God, he says here to the church, which he's dead, he's done with. I know your works, he says. He said, you said, and I'm telling you, I'm going to give you scriptures. He says, you, you're not even cold nor hot, church. The church, the church that he's done with. I would you were cold or hot, but because you're lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. <laughs> I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. But you wouldn't. You preachers watered it down, didn't you? Uh-huh. You watered it down. 
Got water on my table. This water ball is fine everywhere. You took God's pure word and you just started watering it down, you preachers out there, and you compromised it. You wouldn't buy the gold tried in fire. You're done. God is done with you. Now, it's dead. It's over. It's done. That's thus saith the Lord. Now, you're, he said, because he said, you don't even realize it. You know what? You're, you're wretched, he says, church. Pastors and you sheep that support it, that are part of it, that hold on to it. He said, you're wretched. You're blind. You're naked. And you don't even know it. You wouldn't buy the eye salve, which is the word, to open up your eyes. You rejected the word as people reject this message in this ministry. But there are the elects receiving it. And God's connected me to those people. And I love you all. We're a small group. <laughs> but we are, we are much beloved. We are precious and dear to our Lord Jesus. Amen. He said that, but I counsel by me gold tried and fire that maybe it's rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed that thy shame and thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. But he's done. You're done, church. He's rebuked you over and over and over, but you rejected him. You wouldn't receive it, leadership. But the elect is receiving it. If any man here, now verse 20, we went through, now, here's what came to me yesterday with this message. This is what was stirring my heart yesterday, too. I want to bring this out. Verse 20. Last year was 2020. We talked about numbers earlier. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Oh, God have mercy. Please get this, folks. I'm going to lose my voice here. I'm going to try. I, please get this. In 2020, God was standing at the door and knocking. Knocking at your heart. The world was shook upside down. I see many people start to be like, man, I don't know, maybe I need to get right with God. People start following this ministry. But I've seen people already falling, following, falling away. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as they think, seeing things start to lighten back down a little bit, yeah, I've got my, I got my football teams coming up. I've got my games. I've got me this. I'm going to go back to my drinking my beer, go back to partying. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm getting right back in my, my denominational lost church that's, that's dead, that God was trying to call you out knocking at the door of your heart. He called you. Some responded. Amen. And are, are not, and are not stopping and are staying with it right now today. 2020, knocking at the door. If any man hear my voice, his voice is his word. And open the door, I will come into him. And I will sup with him. It was a wake up year. God was get reaching out, shaking up. Judgment. Getting people a chance to wake up. But many have gone right back to that, that spirit of of the lady who's seeing his grip their soul because they've stayed with their with their false preachers and they've 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 accepted their church over Christ the Word. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. God have mercy. Verse 21, 2021. <laughs> to him that overcometh. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. To him that overcometh. That, that hurt word woke up. Staying with the word. Christ the word. Fleeing the system, the church. And fleeing the Christ the word. Amen. Staying with, and, and if you got to, like I said, if you got a pastor staying with this complete word, then you just kept walking through 2020. And that, you, you all just got closer and closer. 
and staying with that word and feeding upon that word. But the church as a whole, Lady of Sin, you're dead, you're done. It's over. You, you had your chance. You spurned it. You rejected the voice of God. But to those, verse 21, 2000, 2021, to him that overcometh, <laughs> will I grant him to sit with me in my, th in my throne. <laughs> Amen. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Amen. Praise God. Verse 22, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. What's the Spirit saying? There's a new heavens and a new earth coming. A new Jerusalem. Amen. A city which God has, has created. Amen. That He's going to establish here on the earth. Amen. For those who overcome, who stay with the Word, who love Jesus Christ, the Word above their, their, their intellectual reasoning, their education, their own, their own agenda, their church, their, 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 their religiosity, who just grab a hold of Christ the Word and die to self, to him that overcometh. Amen. I tried to tell my son the other day, I said, listen, man was made in the image of God. Well, study man. They have what's called a hall of fame, right? They have the elite of the elite, the top of the top. It just shows you man in his own, in his own nature, being made in the image of God, wants this high level elite. Well, God's got an elite. It's called the bride. It's called the elect. She overcometh. Overcometh, T-H, because she stays in the word of God. She flees everything that doesn't line up with that word. Amen? And if she, if she feels like she, if she's so sold out to God that God will make her make a stand against her own pastor. Amen? And maybe God can use you to bring your pastor to surrender and get right with God to the complete word. But the message to the church, it's dead. It's done. Now here's what, here's what, as we continue to go forward, I want to bring out some more scriptures here. <clears throat> the, the way, the direction that God is leading. It's small groups. Just, it, it's, it's God, like, just like the book of Acts all over again. That's where we're heading towards, folks. Now, Acts 2 and verse... Acts 2 and verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came, came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man needed. So there was no agenda. There was no selfishness. Just one heart, one mind. Hey, you need this. You got, all right, whatever you got need of, I got, can provide this. You provide, you know, just breaking bread, praying, fellowshipping together. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. They were a small group. They were an elect group that were called out following Christ the word. They did eat their meat and with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added daily to the church such as would be saved. 1 Corinthians 16, 19 says, the, church, the churches of Asia salute you. Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord with the church that is in their house. All the brethren greet you, greet you one another with a holy kiss. Amen. Again, a small group, the church within their house. Amen. Acts twenty twenty, and how I kept back nothing from you, back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. See the common theme here. The first church, the common theme that the Spirit of God was moving amongst his elect. They were meeting in small groups from house to house. Sometimes it was publicly speaking or whatever it was. God would even lead them sometimes in the temple to bring a message and maybe to bring to call another one out to be a part of the house to house movement. Amen. Calling As God is calling his people unto his word. Amen. Now Acts, or I'm sorry, Colossians 4, 4 verse 15 
Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and not Memphis, and the church which is in his house. Small group. Groups that were feeding upon the revealed word. Romans 16.5 Likewise greet the church that is in their house. See the theme over and over. Right here in the scriptures. This is the direction, the prophecy that God has given me. The church is dead. He's done with the church. He's on the outside, as we just read. He's been trying to knock to get back in. They won't accept him. So he's calling his people out unto him, to Christ the word. They're a small group. They'll meet in little groups. They'll meet in house to house. And as we're kicking off this little Bible study group, may God bring the people there that are meant to be there to be a part of it. May God anoint it. May God, may God fill his, may his spirit fill that place. May, may, God, may the power of God work through the, through the, through the, preach, through the, through the sp- preaching and studying and, and, and getting into the word of God and whatever the mind of God is. Because I've already, I'm already creating a spot in that, in that, in that building that's a chair and it, it says the Holy Spirit because it's God's Bible study. It's God's ministry. It's God's church. It's God's work. It's God's kingdom. It's God's purpose. Amen. No man leads it but Christ the Word. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew 18, 19. And again, I say unto you that if two or three, two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that you shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Amen. Praise God. Two or three. That, that constitutes the church of God, the church, the church of the living God. Two or three just gathered in his name, under his word. He said, I will be in the midst. Amen. Now, I want to read a couple um, quotes here to finish this. And I'm, I'm, I'm done, guys. This is, this is my, the message that God's put on my heart. I want to read a couple quotes from the ministry of, of William Branham talking about what was what's what's to be coming at the very end okay i thought these were some powerful things and I, I liked it so i thought i'd share with you guys okay this is from a message called why why we are not a denomination or a part of a system or part of the church amen 1958 spirit of god don't change preaching that same spirit living right now preaching the same message calling people out to christ the word amen now, scarlet in the Bible represents royal. The color, the color scarlet means red, and beast represents power. Did you notice the beast came up, up out of the sea? That was, in the, that was in the Revelations, the 13th. And when you see the beast coming up out of the sea, it's meant that the power was raising up among the people. But in Revelation 13, when this lamb came, lamb came up, he came up out of the earth, no people, United States. But then after that had two little two little horns, civil and ecclesiastical powers. Then he received power and spoke like the dragon did before him. So you just got to mark it down. We are coming into we are coming into a religious persecution. Okay? With the same things they did in pagan Rome many years ago, for it's thus saith the Lord. Now, what is it? Setting upon a beast of power. Talking about a religious persecution. That's going to come upon that a little elect. Because she doesn't, she doesn't stay with the system. She stays with Christ the Word. Amen. This is from a message called Jezebel Religion. Preached in Middletown, Ohio, 1961. Now, you see why my voice is going to be stopped pretty soon. Somebody's going to know... Revelations 2.20, she called herself a prophetess. You just watch the wave of sin happen now. Go plump, watch, go plump, plump to the core. You watch modernistic, watch ungodly things happen in the churches, and finally there come a persecution. The Bible says, thus saith the Lord. There will finally come a persecution. We, know that we, talk, we call, it, like, call it the word the squeeze that will come upon the elect. And it's already happening, folks. These things are already taking place. We're living it right now. It's, 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 we're living it. Remember, this is the 60s and we're living it now. Um, all right, I predict that the two, the two denominational groups, Pentecostal and the evangelical groups, will work together in a denomination 
will unite themselves together and will become a member of all of them, of the Federation of the Council of Churches, or the Council of Churches. They already belong to all of them. And there will come through them a forcing or a boycott that will stop everything but what belongs to the union of churches. The Bible said there will be a boycott, even to such a way it would cause people to not be able to buy or sell, which you know, Revelation 13, unless they had received this, the mark of the beast, which is Romanism, and the image of the beast, which is Protestantism. That's the image. The beast had power, authority to give, to give image life to speak and did, did. And I'm going to drop down here. Um, now, there's many young people here. I don't know. Jesus may come this afternoon. And again, folks, I don't, we don't know when he's going to come. But we, we know, what we, obviously, we know the hour is late. We know where we're at, according to God's word. But remember, if I, don't, if, I, if I do live to see that day of his coming, which I hope that I will and somehow believe that I will. Now, if I do not see it, do not let this word ever depart from your ears or your heart. Just remember, I speak in the name of the Lord now. I believe with all my heart that they'll want, that, that, that's the way it'll wind up. There'll be like a union, a boycott. All such places here will be closed down. You'll not be able to speak unless you've got a permission or a license from this federation of churches to hold a service. And I want to read one more here. Others, others I try to explain and say how it was done. This can't be explained. Just wait. It'll be an operation so perfectly now. Wait till that council of churches brings on that persecution. That's when it will happen. So basically, I just want to share those talking about basically the persecution that he saw, the, the, the things that God was dealing with him, even though we're talking years ago, that he saw coming upon the church. So, <sighs> folks i i feel beside myself right now i i am i am just you know um I battled to bring this. I really have struggled to bring this message, and I'm 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 honest with you. I've been struggling through this whole message today. I'm still struggling. Um, so may the Lord, I pray, open up your understanding. May may you hear what God is saying, what God is speaking, what God is what God is trying to get out. Receive His word. Stay with His word. Um, stay with Him. You know, and. Um, Please pray for me. Uh, I I I'm, I battle a lot to, to bring this to bring these messages and uh, to stand for Christ the Word. But we're not going to stop. So if God be for us, who can be against us? And God is with you, the elect. He's with us. We, we are we are feeding upon His Word. We don't have to be in fear. We don't have to be afraid of anything. Our trust and our faith and our confidence is in our Lord Jesus Christ. We walk we walk by faith. We trust Him. Satan is a liar, and we rebuke him in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So stay with his word, I pray. Stay with Christ the word. And um, share this message with others.